So I'm going to record. So I think we have everybody here from the office. Um, so welcome everybody for the spring planning for Drake number uh, spring number three. It's going to be a two week sprint um, from today to two weeks from now, which is eight to twenty eight. And then the following um, week after that is going to be just a short uh, button-up sprint for documentation, fixing bugs, and, and preparations for the, for the Drake release itself. And so I've started it on a Jira. Um, and I've already populated with some stories. Um, let me share my desktop. Uh, can everybody see the... Uh, the, the browser. Um, Can you guys online see the, the yep. backlog? Yes. Okay, great. And um, one one of the one of the things, uh, if you were to look at past few, uh, well, actually, a lot of the past uh, sprints. We always took on a lot of um, a lot of points, and on average, were able to finish at most half of them. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, rather than doing that, continue to do that. I think what we should do is tighten up uh, uh, the work that we're taking on in each sprint. Uh, what I mean by that is, first of all, identify the scope better, um, and more, more try to do a better job at at accounting the work that is supposed to be done and actually focusing on the work in order to be able to finish it. And that includes also um, taking on fewer points. So not only fewer points, but also crisper definition of the work uh, that we want to do so that we can, uh, we can demo concise um, and finished stories so that once we're done with stuff, we can move on and uh, move on to other things. Um, so as, as I think, given our current configuration of the team, we're organizing things as a single scrum, but then we're, when we're actually operating during the sprint, we're operating as a number of loose scrums. Uh, this is something that we're going to continue to do for this sprint, but with EMU release, we may uh, want to rethink, rethink how we do that, and we may actually formally um, create scrums so that we have uh, more accounting of work that gets done. But, uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to continue with this mode of operation. We're just simply going to take on less work. Um, the, given the fact that we're able to finish about um, uh, 30 points, uh, 35 points per week on average, uh, let's sign up for no more than 40 points a week, which means for this two-week sprint, we should not take more than 80 points. Okay. So let's keep that in mind as we as we drag work into um, into the sprint. Um, so if you were to focus on start with from the platform and start from the core, um, kind of in the usual order. Um, on the platform side, uh, we have a, we have a defect in the um, in the abstract uh, accumulator that Simon found. Nothing that needs to get fixed. And one of the deliverables for Drake was to provide secure um, security for Onos container. Now, a lot of the work has already been done, but it hasn't been buttoned up into a nice, concise package. And so the, the, I put the story in here to be able to finish it so that we can actually ship it as part of Drake. So that's on platform side. Um, another thing that we need to do before the release is the documentation for Wiki. Um, whether or not that's something we want to leave for the last week, is that is there any objections to putting in the sprint this week? Or, I mean, for the sprint, or should we leave it for last week? Any, any? Okay, so I'll, I'll put that in here. And as far as I can see, there's nothing else in the in the platform that should go in here. So if you were to focus on core. Um, I already put in a few stories. Oh, did you? Okay, so let me like refresh. Refresh that. Okay. So it's the eventually consistent map yeah. stores. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. I also have a documentation story 2441. Okay. So this right now we have one. very okay. limited documentation and that is a constant request that we keep getting. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And then on um, and also the network configuration implementation, although that's that's done, it's still left in the incubation area, and I think it needs to move out of the incubation into into here. And so um, it, I left it in here. But there's actually less than five points worth of work here. But this was uh, you want to move this into into uh, non incubation. Non incubation, yeah. But this was implemented in this sprint, right? Well, the interfaces were actually done last sprint. But it's been implemented. Unless you think, if you think that it should stay in the incubation for one more, then we can certainly leave it here. Yeah, I think it's just a question of like uh, rules of the game. Right? Like if, if if it was implemented, this print should stick around in the incubation for at least one release. Right? I think just to be like fair to people who contribute from outside who get stuck in incubation. For one release because we, that was the advertised model. But I mean, I yeah, well, the incubation is more about the interfaces yeah, than about the implementation. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. So that's that's one reason. So well, we can certainly discuss it. I'm gonna leave it in here, uh, and we can discuss uh, whether or not we actually do that. Okay. okay. Is that fair? Um, anything anything else anybody can see from the core that should go in there? So there are a few bugs that are. At the top of that list, which we want. One, I think it's gone. Okay. <laughs> so I, I yeah, I, anything that is marked as major, um, I think some of them can be closed. Uh, Hari has tested few of them. You can pull it in and then I'll close it so that we can see. This one, yeah. yeah. Device disconnect. Yeah. This one, okay. Uh, even two one two zero, I believe, can be closed, but you know, I think just a quick verification and we can close that. So okay. You can pull it in. Right? Yeah. Uh, two three nine zero as well. These are all like you know quick things that we can close. Okay. Um, punk intent test even no, that. Is that has to let it. I don't think that's. I don't think it is closable, but yeah. I, I I did look at it and some I felt this is something that we can. Which one is this? The like the top one two four nine zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so those are the things I think, at least as far as bugs is concerned, that I think we can include. Okay. Great. So I think Sprint is full. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at it, you have to turn no, on. I think some of them will be close to anyway. No, I understand. But I'm, I'm talking about in terms of points. points. We already have. Um, All right, we're done. We're already done, right? So it looks. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. It's already 89 points. <laughs> um, okay. So if you were to move on, uh, let's say move on to northbound next. So there's actually nothing northbound wise in here uh, that's on here. Um, I guess it's going to have to stay that way. You can put explore into primitives. That's always, that's always a nice uh, feeling. Mm, no, well, that's... Could you pull that 2148? I think that is linked to the... Core issue, I think even that will be closed because I don't see it. Which one? 2148. One asked 2148. Okay. That was happening because of the core issue. Okay. Uh, it's in the sprint. Is there on a sprint already? It's already in the. Is it? No, it's not. I saw it in the other one. Okay. Thanks. Did, did Brian give any that needed to be pulled in? or I think Show is online as well, right? Yeah, Show, show, show is yeah. online. So um, there has to be the, the, the work that show is doing on resource management. Any 446 is uh, left over from the previous screen, and uh, the task is the task is already sent to the gateway. And uh, so this one, yeah, it is waiting for the review right now. Okay. And I think to complete. Uh, uh, to replace current e existing uh, resource management system, uh, 2445 is uh, 48 uh, is mandatory. Which one is it? Uh, this one. This one right here? Yeah. Uh, 2448. Okay. Yeah. 
I think this fit to to be explained. I think. <coughs> Now, some of this stuff was in the previous sprint, right? So those uh, work. 2446 is from uh, is from the previous sprint, and okay. 2448 is new 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 story of this sprint. Okay. And so, so you feel confident that these two can be done? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, Bill, you had a question there uh, uh, whether whether Brian specified something to put on the next sprint. He really didn't. I know that uh, he was working with Aaron on on the next sort of on the on the basis for the next uh, generation intent framework for the primitives. Uh, okay. I I think. Um, I think I think that's something that we should probably suspend for the next couple of weeks until we get break completely in order because it's not something that's going to be um, anywhere but in the incubation area. Yep, great. Um, and then if if we find out that uh, you know we don't have enough work to um, to divide, then we can deal with it then. But I'd rather rather right now not take it off. Okay. Okay. So that's northbound. So northbound right now really just has these three tasks, uh, including the bug in there. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is there any other defects that? Yeah, Okay. Um. So that's these two. Um, on the southbound, too. the thing is on the southbound. Yes, we need to have a yeah. meter support and service. So it should be in that one. So I'm going to finish that. It's really not, no longer five, but okay, so that's there. fine. And OVSDB driver is in progress and, and contribute lock fee. That's it. I would stop there. Okay. Now, Okay, so the, these two are for you, but the obvious DB driver that's Huawei, right? Uh huh. There's also the PSAP stuff happening. Oh, yeah, the PSAP stuff. Um, I don't even know where that is. Yeah, this, I have, uh, that's one of the problems I have with. I'm not sure how to account for the work. Um, account for the work for from from um, the the Patrick sent from like the work that's being done by Huawei. Um, I think it's something that we'll probably need to drag into the sprint. But right there, that's I mean we already are. We already are under ten. Yeah, but I mean like the meter service is really like two points at this point. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know what you mean. But what, um, what can we do? Right? Like it, it keeps on getting dragged through because I, I never have had like. No, no, I'm more, not. more than half a day to work on. It. Sure. So yeah, it's an issue, but I mean, you know, maybe this will reassure you. No, no, since, that's since not. A lot no, of the no, stories that, are nearly finished. So I'm actually. Uh, so the thing is, you know, I, I completely understand that. Uh, the thing is, um, I guess I don't know how to deal with uh, with the work that Patrick sent. Um, that's something I'll probably have to do separately. Or, but it's not. Is it listed here? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sent in spreadsheet. Oh, there's side, yeah. there's uh, side. tens of tasks. So I'm gonna, mm -hmm. uh, if everybody's okay with that, are you okay with that, Hong Tao? I'm gonna put put the work that Patrick sent into the sprint at a later time after I talk to talk to um, talk to Patrick. Um, at least just for this core team right here. I mean, right now we already 
they're already overloaded, as it turns out. So, okay, so if you were to take a look at um, the UI, I talk to Simon, and I think um, this, I think, Simon, uh, do you want to speak to the work that you'll be doing? Um, I can briefly, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so um, it's really um, uh, completing the work that we started last time uh, on uh, providing a mechanism for highlighting links in the topology view um, arbitrarily, and in addition, refactoring the existing traffic code to use that mechanism. So that's really kind of covered by those two stories at the top there. Okay. And um, and then for the security, there's just the logout and login, which a lot of the work was actually done last sprint. It just wasn't that marked as finished because I didn't want to uh, merge it into the stream that would affect the test and the community. Um, so just like with the other areas, there's actually fewer points here. But I think that's it for the UI. Um, okay, so now for the uh, for the let's say if you were to go with a uh, use cases, so STNIP. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 you should uh, click the UI on the top. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, this um, I only focus on the multiple instances on those previous speakers and check the behavior of the whole system and write a test case for this. Okay. Yeah. And tear down the master say what a kind of behavior will happen, better the slave we can take care of the master. Okay. So okay, so just that? Yes. Um, on um, things I don't, do we have anybody to speak to the IP optical? There, or there's not no work? No, I guess it's not no work. Unless unless the mark is on that is mark on that? Uh, I don't, I don't see him. No, no. no okay. there's nothing. So for the cord? Cord, I just added a few things. If you refresh, there's one more thing. But uh, we're still, we're, we, we have the, so for cord, we have the top level uh, responsibilities per facet of cord. Mm -hmm. um, so I just put these two because we know that we're going to deliver on these two. Well, we have to deliver on these two, but. This is probably going to get fleshed out over the coming week more. And the question is now is do we want to keep Cord as part of this Scrum board or a separate Scrum board? Yeah, that's something we'll have to investigate. Plus, this doesn't directly have to go to Drake, does it? Uh, well, that's the thing is that some of this stuff is not really part of OMOS. Like packaging open WRT, right. it, it just adds noise to the OMOS Scrum board. Right. So sure. that's a different discussion. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, no, um, well, this is part of the EMU discussion, planning discussion. Yeah, I think we should maybe consider moving Cord into its own Jira, but then there's the issue of like Cord related ONOS tasks. Where do they go? But anyway, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, these are the two. These are the two. Uh, the two tasks that I see uh, going for. There's a few other things I'm going to work on, but it's it's just related to the OT. So okay. I don't know if I should add them in here, because if you want that, then could add one seven seven three, but that's not really super necessary at this point. It's, uh, it's not very necessary. Okay, I don't think we should add it now. All right, that's not then. Um, I don't know, maybe Bill. Does Bill have something to to comment on here about about cord or not? I, I guess my only comment is we we probably don't need to pull a lot in right now because we're going through the, all of the planning activities. Right. So, you should probably sit so, down and yeah. to hammer out the top level stories. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow, the, you know, you and me and Thomas can, can sit down and do the first uh, discussion on that, and then we'll go from there. Sounds wonderful. Okay. On the A court stuff, uh, it's online. It's online. Srikant, do you want to talk Hi, Thomas. to talk to some of the points you put on a sprint? Uh, sure. Uh, so, in this sprint, I have um, kept the first story that was continuing from the sprint one, uh, investigations on the OpenStack Silometer framework. Uh, so, I added some sub-stories uh, so that some of them were closed and one of them was open this for this sprint, uh, which is to 
explore on the notification framework in the accelerometer. Uh, so that is the top priority one. And uh, then second one is making this accelerometer framework working with a Mongo database or uh, running in an independent XOS slice. So right now, both are, meter, both are running on the head node in the cluster. Um, we wanted to try MongoDB also as a scalable service, so we wanted to run it in a different slice and accelerometer framework to communicate with it. So this is another important um, piece of the framework, so we I kept it as a second work item. The third and fourth are related to integration of the accelerometer with the ONOS. The uh, third one is more on the accelerometer framework side uh, to develop a driver that can communicate with the ONOS uh, northbound interfaces. The fourth one is more of developing that northbound interfaces part. Today, um, the accelerometer framework uses the REST interface to communicate with multiple controllers. So in that um, line, we need to develop some of the missing REST APIs in the ONOS. So I created some sub-stories on implementing the missing REST APIs as one part, but the bigger piece here is we may need to give a virtual IP kind of um, concept to the application so that they can always talk to a single IP in a multi-instance deployment. So I'm not sure whether we can complete the implementation, but at least some design discussions around should happen. So one of the sub-tasks in that fourth bullet is a uh, uh, single virtual IP for accelerometer to talk to that IP always irrespective of how many instances are underlying. And the fourth one, I'm hoping some help from Larry, uh, Scott and Andy here because that is one of, oh, sorry, you're uh, looking at the fourth bullet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the fourth one is where um, some missing APIs and the uh, virtual IP is what we needed for accelerometer to integrate. The fifth one is yeah, the XOS. We wanted to create some front-end APIs in front of the accelerometer so that XOS tenants can um, communicate uh, with the accelerometer service. So here Andy Scott has shared some thoughts, so I converted them into the stories, but we, I need to take them into the more concrete um, uh, work items and understand what exactly they want to uh, achieve in this. So the fifth item is more for exploration, may not be like an implementation activity or anything, but yeah, I created the sub-stories to understand their ideas and how we can translate them into the uh, actionable items here. Hey, I have a comment. Sure. Um, we have a two-week sprint, and uh, what we want to see here is only the stories that will absolutely be completed this sprint. So uh, what I'd like for you to do is to, you know, the 10 points, okay, they're broken into multiple stories, and then only put the stories in here you, that you know you can get completed in this sprint, and the rest of them can stay in the backlog. Yeah. Okay, so even design discussions, also, I need to then split. I mean, if a activity requires both design and implementation, you're suggesting I should have two stories, one for design and one for implementation. Yeah, my guess is you want even more than two stories because probably the implementation is going to, you know, turn into multiple stories, right? But a, st a story, by definition, right, should be finished in this in a sprint, right? And we've got two weeks, so whatever you put in here for the number of points, we expect you to finish those. Okay, it's two weeks or three weeks? Sorry, uh, I thought. Three weeks. Right? Three. Okay, sure. So I will follow subdivide these, these things and um, rework them. Yeah, and if it's just if this represents only your your work and not the team's work in Ericsson, then probably for two weeks you don't want any more than about eight points uh, assigned to yourself. If, if we're sizing correctly. Yes, yes, yeah. There is nothing coming from Ericsson in this uh, activities. 
Okay, so you are saying for uh, okay, for this print, eight points per person is uh, a kind of ballpark. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So I presume then you'll uh, should count you'll take these stories and adjust them as necessary. Uh, yes, Thomas, I will do that. Yeah. Great. Okay, so on the virtualization side, well, this one thing that I actually forgot out of the core, um, the virtualization is something that we're going to start incubation in, in Drake release. But given our current, uh, given the fact that it's not an integral part of the Drake release, I think we should just, similarly like with the intent primitives, we should leave it out, uh, out of this print, um, at least not as any explicit deliverable, and um, just focus on other activities that would be uh, that would be directly related to the Drake release. So Unless, is there any objections to that? Virtualization, if we did that, virtualization would be really good. Um, but that would be part of EMU. So EMU is having that end of movement. Well, <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I mean, it's, it's, it's something we need to record, right? And we need it right. I mean, because what's, what's going to happen then is we're going to we're going to build our own kind of virtualization, which is kind of um, like overlays of, over the fabric in cord, which is going to provide the virtual network. That might be fine, and then we can re-engineer the virtual, the, the actual like uh, control of the virtualization through the framework. That's one option. Or we put this as a high priority, get it done, and use that from the get-go of course. So that, that, these are the two things I'm seeing. Yeah. Well, the thing is, again, there's you know so much so I understand. little fit. I understand. So this was a deliberate. Choice. So, unless there's something else we're willing to eject from the sprint, from the next sprint. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah so we'll have this discussion tomorrow when we talk about our resources. So I think for now, just leave, leave it out. Okay. Yeah, but for now it's okay, right? To just leave it out. At least for the next two weeks. Yeah, well, I mean, we've only got we've only got two weeks, right? So it's not like anything. Of any significance going to go in during two That's kind of what I was thinking. Sure. Yeah. Right now, the whole. Uh, my, I guess my point was so that we basically start winding towards uh, towards the Drake release, so that we have a good. You know, we have time to put out a good quality release and with good documentation, and with as few bugs as possible. Sure. All right. So that was that. Um, I don't think. We, we're going to talk about any deployments here. Um, is there any stuff under test that you guys have? What? A refresh. Oh, testing group. Okay. Yeah. Is there Oh, there. Okay. I was clicking on the thing. Okay, so there. And I remember the first two because we covered them before we left. So, think thing you want to pull them in or I just want to leave the, those two, the first two in the background. In the background, the first two. Oh, the background? Yeah, those two. Um. Uh, we can we can do the second one. The first one is not a big SDNP. The second one, yes. This one? Yes. Yeah, I can wait to the um, new. Do we know roughly what works involved here? Uh, I think one ago is fine. It's very simple. Very simple? One yeah. point? Two yeah. points? Yes, yes. One. OK, 
Okay. So the, the PCEP stuff. That's, right. Okay, so I'm going to look at all of the. Have, oh, sorry, the <coughs> segment routing 14. Segment routing 14. Um, look for my face. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to be uh, testing the last one. Yes. We're going to be testing uh, the actual switch for the features that are necessary to make the segment routing application work, like MPLS switching, MP groups, and this kind of stuff. They're described. Okay, so and so that that will be finished. Is that's okay? Is it something you, that will be. Do you have an actual switch? The same. Which model? Mm -hmm. Which model? I don't know right now, but uh, yeah, it's somewhere there. That's important. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, 37 issues worth of about 120 points. So, yeah, we're definitely over budget in terms of the points, but I guess. Um, and we don't even have the cord one size. Do we know what the the one for um, for Andy is? Size. Set up the wrong environment for Open Cloud. Oh, roughly speaking. It, it should get quite a bit better when Shrewcanth updates his. Right, because he had like 30, 35 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he already did. He already did because. Oh, he did. Okay. Lost, we already lost a significant number of uh, points. Yeah. We were at one hundred thirty almost. Three, can you click on that? So Thomas, 2190, do you think that is five times? One second. When was, when, when was this? Set up the environment with OpenCloud 1549, that was Actually, a long time ago. I think they can throw that out. You can throw that out? Yeah, because it's... Like, it, 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 talks about, it talks about OBX. Okay, I'm just going to move it out. I'm not yeah, sure why it was in there then. Did, did Andy put it there, or did you put it there? Maybe it was me. I saw. I saw. I was reading something different when I saw okay. it. Okay. I was reading something different. I was reading self development of environment for core. I see. Anyway, that's fine. I'm sorry. You were gonna say something. About so, uh, like for example, two one nine zero network configuration implementation. Yes. yes. That's five points worth of work. Actually, um, not. But yeah. 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 So should yeah. we create like a different story for like just the one part that? Um, you know, yeah. So generally, ger generally the. Generally, you figure out what you're gonna do, side up the stories accordingly, and then you, if you finish it, you count the points as part of a sprint and you move on. Right. If you don't finish it, you keep the points as they are, move it to the next sprint, right. and then you're gonna get the credit for the next one. Right. That journey, so that so you don't get into micromanagement of yeah. the story points and remaining work. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sweating terribly that we're at 117. So I'm not trying to be like uh, yeah. just for the sake of numbers trying to get it to 80. Actually would be okay with this, but I'm a little bit reluctant to put much more into the sprint, basically okay. beyond okay. here. I mean, it looks like, you know, even the number says 117. Right, because I understand there are some numbers that are basically represent the points that we didn't finish in the past sprint because we, we had about like 120 in flight, right? Yeah. So a lot of the work was already sort of chewed off. So I would be actually perfectly fine if you just did this. Uh, if you if you could finish all of this work and burn off all those, these points, that would be great. Okay. And so, is there any work that you that uh, that we haven't talked about here, or that we omitted from the that you think should be part of the Drake release that I may have forgotten? Uh, piece of, uh, piece of, uh, kind of provider. Yeah. So the thing is with okay. So with the that's what I was talking about earlier. So the, the work that Huawei is going to be doing, I would like to treat it a little bit differently mm. because it's it's part of a separate scrum. Mm. Essentially, it's run as a separate scrum. Okay. So we may add it to the to the sprint, but I would like to at least take a snapshot of the of the work done by the pretty much just the core team in here. Because mm. so far, really, the the only work that we've talked about was the work being done here, and I want to be able to make sure that we measure the output of the team. The local team here. Yeah, but uh, in the end of this point, the, the code will be merged to the uh, code base. Or? 
So yes, so, so clearly the Huawei team will continue working. Clearly we're gonna put stories in here to reflect it because Patrick sent me a whole bunch of like a spreadsheet of things mm -hmm. that are to go to Spring. Mm -hmm. But rather than torture everybody by copying and finding and moving all of those things in, into the Sprint, mm -hmm. uh, I will do that afterwards okay. to put all of the OVSDB and, and PSEP related so stuff into the, the, Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there, but, but for the sake of accountability for the local team here, I would like to make sure that we don't overload it. Because one of the problems is we, are, we have worked feeding into the Sprint uh, from other scrums like Huawei or Ericsson or, or other contributors. And the problem is um, we, <coughs> we, need to, we need to manage that work as separate scrum, not because it's we're not one scrum, it's going to be insanely huge scrum. So I'm going to add it to the sprint, just not, not, also, not right now. Also, you put the uh, open. Open and FE stuff, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add that, but I'm gonna uh, just at least for the for the purpose of planning for the work for this team, I would like it to be a little bit crisper defined. Okay. Oh, I have seen you the update on the status progress, so you can look at. That, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna put stories in. I'm gonna put the stories into Jira, the ones that Patrick sent me. Uh, I send you uh, added to value. Oh, so did you send in your one? Yeah, OSDB and the testing. Okay. Oh, only send you the PSAP. Okay, I will. I will add those afterwards. Okay. All right. So if that's. Uh, so if um, if that's it. Tom, do you want to add um, the rest uh, <coughs> template we talked about this morning? I don't think there's a. Jira open for that. Well, no, we don't have a Jira for it. Um, I would again prefer just to. That's extra. So I would just. I would only do it if you don't. If you ran out of work here. Okay. That, that would be. That would be my preference. So so basically, I think we need to start taking work from from this bucket, start turning it off, and then, and only if you run out, go. go okay. Dig deeper. That's that's my thought. Okay, so we have 117 points. It still runs us high um, for the next two weeks, but it's a, you know if we focus, I think we should be able to do it given the fact I'm overworked or so even burnt off. Uh, Thomas, can you please update it? I have just um, weird speed. Okay, great, 100, perfect. <laughs> I mean, I know this is just playing with the numbers, but it's, it's I mean, it's a little more than just playing with numbers. It's uh, as long as we, you know, it's part of also identifying the scope and signing up only for what it is that we can do. So, great. Thanks for doing that, Srikant. Okay, so we're 100, 100 points. Great. So, unless somebody has, um, somebody else says anything. And then I think we can call it done. And I'm going to add the Huawei uh, story points into the sprint and, and start it. Yes, uh, our wiki website article, uh, we have some document on the new model, the, the, the progress work we did in Huawei. So maybe I can send you the document or I can update the wiki directly. So we'll have to figure out for, this, for the. For the, this this point, yeah. yeah, I will have to figure out how we're gonna go about that. Yes, okay. I have to already build a document. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, so I think that's it for this for this planning session. Let's make this successful sprint, and uh, we'll um, see everybody tomorrow at Scrum. Bye. Thanks, Thomas.